Welcome back Mechanical AI. Did you know that Stirling engines hold the record for running at the lowest temperature difference? An erection cycle is used to extract power from the exhaust heat of gasoline engines. This makes us wonder, what are Stirling and erection cycles? Before we jump in, check out the previous part of this series to learn about what the diesel cycle is. Now, the Stirling cycle has four main processes. In process 1, the expansion cycle is heated externally and the gas undergoes isothermal expansion. Process 2 is an isochoric process wherein air is passed through the regenerator, thus cooling the gas and transferring heat to the regenerator for use in the next cycle. In process 3, the compression space is intercooled, so the gas undergoes near isothermal compression. Process 4 is again an isochoric process. Here, the compressed air flows back through the regenerator and picks up heat on the way to the heated expansion space, completing the cycle. The erection cycle again has four main processes. In process 1, the compression space is assumed to be intercooled, so the gas undergoes isothermal compression. The compressed air flows into the storage tank at a constant pressure. Process 2 is isobaric heat addition. From the tank, the compressed air flows through the regenerator and picks up heat at a high constant pressure on the way to the heated power cylinder. In process 3, power cylinder expansion space is heated externally and the gas undergoes isothermal expansion. Finally, process 4 is isobaric heat removal. Before the air is released as exhaust, it is passed back through the regenerator, thus cooling the gas at low constant pressure and heating the regenerator for the next cycle. Hence, we first saw what the Stirling cycle is and then went on to find out what the erection cycle is. So, like, subscribe, and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for those constructive comments. You helped the channel grow. So, here are the top mechanical EIs of our last videos. In the next episode of Mechanical AI, find out what the Atkinson and Braden cycles are.